Do you know Emma Rogers Gillespie Shaw? These are the three photos we have of her as a youth, adult, and older woman. Emma was the youngest child of seven. Her father died before she was born, and she was raised in England by a single mother who ran a family shop. Emma clerked there with her brothers. The Rogers family joined the church and immigrated to Utah gradually. As a teenager, Emma traveled with her older sister. She brought this plate with her across the plains. Emma worked as a store clerk in Salt Lake City, where she met and married a widower named James Gillespie, but he unfortunately died only months after the wedding. She then became reacquainted with Harry Shaw, a friend from England, and married him as his second wife. She and his first wife, Elizabeth, met for the first time at the ceiling, and they happily set up housekeeping together. Emma taught school alongside her husband and clerked in the Paradise Store, while Elizabeth supervised all 15 joint children. After being widowed when Harry died at the young age of 51, the two wives continued keeping house together. Emma was an expert checkers player and had a beautiful red Brussels carpet in the sitting room and lace curtains that hung to the floor. She was capable, efficient, and enjoyed public speaking. But at age 60, Emma had a serious accident at work when a trap door was left open and she fell down the staircase to the basement. She became paralyzed for the last decade of her life, a terrible trial as she was not a stay-at-home type of woman. Emma liked to be out and about meeting people. Her granddaughter recalled watching Emma be lifted into a buggy or sleigh for a visit. And now you know British pioneer and businesswoman Emma Shaw.